So now we're going to start looking at questions where we have to find the equation of a circle. So we're going to start off with an okay one, and they're going to get progressively harder as it goes on. So the first one we're going to look at is they're asking us to find the equation of a circle with its center at the origin and a tangent 3x minus y plus 10 is equal to 0. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a quick sketch uh, just so we kind of know what we're talking about. So for example, we have our axes there. I'll draw a yellow circle, which isn't perfect at all, but it doesn't really need to be. Again, it's just a sketch just to get our head straight. And then a tangent there. And we call that the point of tangent. Okay, so what do we know about tangents and circles, or even the circle in general? So we know the center point of this circle. So I'll just say the center is going to be 0, 0. All right, that's the first thing we know. We know this line here. I'm going to write it in. 3x minus y plus 10 is equal to 0. So 3x minus y plus 10 is equal to 0. For a, center, for a circle with the center at the origin, the equation is going to be x squared plus y squared. Let's rewrite that. x squared plus y squared is equal to or squared. So basically, all we need to do is find or this radius here. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to look at this here. So the radius is going to be this distance here between the center point and the tangent. Yeah. And we, we looked at this in the last video. What do we know about that? We, we know one that it's perpendicular. And two, we know we can find that distance there using the following formula. D is equal to AX1 plus BY1 plus C, all divided by the square root of A squared plus B squared. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this to find the distance between that point and this line. That's going to be the length of the radius. And then we're going to have our equation. All right. So I'll scroll down here and do that. So we're going to have... Our line is going to be 3x minus y plus 10 is equal to 0. So our a is going to be 3. Our b is going to be minus 1. And our c is going to be 10. Okay, so if you need a bit of a um, review on this, on this formula here, we have a video on it back in our coordinate geometry of the line. Uh, you can brush up on that. So that's uh, how you get a, b, and c. And now our point, our coordinate, is going to be the center point. So remember the center of the circle is 0, 0, and that's going to be our x1 and our y1. All right, so I'm going to find d now. So we're going to have that d is equal to ax1, which is going to be 3, by x1, which is 0, plus by1, so that's going to be minus 1 by, again, 0, and then plus c, which is going to be plus 10. Uh, modulus around that, and then that's going to be divided by 3 squared plus minus 1 squared. All right, scroll down here and keep going. So we're going to have d is going to be equal to 0 plus 0 plus 10, and that's all going to be divided by the square root of 9 plus 1. So that's going to mean that d is equal to the modulus of 10 divided by the square root of 10. So that's just going to mean it's going to be 10 over 10. So we're going to take the positive value of 10 over the square root of 10. And if you pop that into your calculator, you'll find out that d is just equal to root 10, right? So if d is equal to root 10, that means that or is equal to root 10. Because remember, this distance we just calculated, the perpendicular distance between the center and the line here, that is our radius. Right, so now that we do that, we can fill it into this x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, and we can find the equation of our circle. So I'm going to do that in yellow over here to finish. So we're going to have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. That means our equation is going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to root 10 squared, or in another form, x squared plus y squared is equal to 10. So either of those are acceptable as a final answer. Um, yeah, so that's our first example on finding the equation of a circle. That was kind of an easy enough one because uh, it centers at the origin. That kind of makes things a little bit simpler. But in the next few videos, we're going to look at equations uh, or circles that don't have their center at the origin. So anyway, we'll see you in the next video for more finding the equation of a circle. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe.